Good afternoon and welcome to my channel. What I'm going to do today is a quick video on the crash helmets that I own. And the reason for this being is because I've put some pictures on Facebook and some people have come to me and asked the questions about the crash helmet I've got. What's it called? Where did I get it from? What's it like? So I thought I'd just do a quick video of the three crash helmets that I own and I generally wear throughout the different times of the year um, when I'm out on my bike. So the first one that I'm going to look at is the first one that I bought. And this one is really my winter helmet. Now this is the IXS HX125. A full face helmet, um, as I said, really for the winter time. Nice and snug inside and nice and warm. Ventilation, you've got ventilation on the through the chin, through the top of the helmet and around the back. All of these can be closed and opened. Uh, sun visor has got a pin lock on it which obviously helps it and stops it from steaming up when you're riding in the cold or the damp or the rain. If I flick that up you'll be able to see that it's also got a built in sun visor which flips up and flips down which is a good thing to have especially if the weather changes like it does in the UK uh, quite quickly. So you're out riding and one minute it's dark and dingy and then the next thing the sun's come out you've got a sun visor built in there. Um, with this helmet, it has the quick release buckles. Now all three of these helmets you will see will have that because that's what I like. I don't particularly like the D-hoop um, connectors. That's my own preference because I struggle getting them to do up properly and tight. And uh, I just prefer to have that on there. And also for a safety thing, if I need to take my helmet off for any reason in a hurry, um, I just flip, pull the, the cord and it's undone rather than have to fiddle around to take it off. Um, other things that drew me to this helmet, and as I said, I've had this three years now, and it cost me £80. It wasn't a sell. It cost me £80, uh, but also the colour scheme. I like the colour scheme on there because obviously it goes with the grey colour of my bike. So that one is my winter crash helmet um something i did add one way for that also with this um riding it in the cold um i can wear a full face balaclava underneath there um helps to keep it warm again cuts out even more of the noise from the road um and generally it won't steam up um, which i'll cover when i get to the last helmet that i wear so that's that one, the winter helmet. The next one I'm going to look at can be worn in the winter or summer, and that is a full open face one. Now a lot of people don't like these, which I understand because they don't feel that they're safe because they've got no protection around their chin or around their face. I understand that. Um, but again, I bought this one for some of the ride outs I go out on. You might be able to see with this one, it's a lot smaller because it's a low profile so what this is doing is eliminating that having a big head look or the mushroom effect that people speak about um, this did come with a clip on sort of like peak visor or peak thing uh, I generally don't wear that as I did mention though this also comes with the quick release clips same as what the other one did obviously being open face it's not very, very quiet it's quite noisy uh, I can wear again a full face balaclava underneath there or um, a snood or a, a face covering if I need to. Um, it has got some small perforations around the ear area so that you can hear through it a little bit better. Um, but I've never had any real issues with that. The reason for the colour scheme for this one, again, you've got the grey in there because of the grey of the bike, but also the Yamaha Bolt at one point was known as the Yamaha Star Bolt. So having the stars sort of like fitted in again with the Bolt um, and the Yamaha. What I did get with that uh, helmet, and that helmet, um, that was around £100 that cost me, but I got some accessories free with that. So what I did get with that was sunglasses with the foam inserts inside so it helps them from steaming up or anything coming up underneath there they are toughened as well they fit very nicely on there obviously if the sun's not out but i still need eye protection um i've got clear ones as well so they're nice 
and clear again with the foam and stops them from steaming up. And then another pair that they sent as well, which are quite nice. I've never worn them, but um, I would say that these are maybe to be worn at any other time, just to sort of like stop the glare from the road, glare from the lights, and that you might be able to wear these at night to stop from the street light glare. Um, but as I said, I've never actually worn them. But again, they are toughened um, and actually designed to, to wear when you're out on the bikes. So those were a nice touch to get those free from and that that helmet is a is a bandit helmet it's made by bandit so that's that one so the helmet that everyone has been asking about what people have been asking about is this one now this is the bell bruiser helmet now as you can see it looks like a full face helmet but it also can be turned into an open face helmet uh, as you can see it's got quite a lot of attitude and that's what drew me to it and also color scheme wise again it's the same color as my bike to take the uh, chin guard off what you do is push up the visor pull these tabs down on the side either side pull the chin guard forward and it comes off and then you've got your, full uh, your fully open faced helmet with your sun visor on there which is quite cool, but I don't wear it like that. I wear it with the chin guard on there. And again, just to put that back on, back in there, back in there, push it, clipped, and it's in there. Now, this is my go-to helmet, really. I wear this any time. I can wear it when it's in, in the cold, when it's wet, um, and in the summertime. So this is the one I really generally go to. And unless the weather's really, really bad, and I will wear my, my, my winter one. Um, with this one though, it's got vents on the on your um, chin guard and it's got vents on the top. There is no vents on the back of this helmet, unlike the other one. Um, and one of the issues with this is I can't wear a full face balaclava because of when I'm riding along, um, if it's steaming up, which it generally will, won't steam up when you're riding, but it steams up when you stop at a traffic lights or at a junction or something, and where the, the, the the face covering is covering my nose and that when I'm breathing it's going straight up there's no uh, pin lock on there and you can't put a pin lock on it uh, the visor will steam up so generally if I wear this one I'll wear a neck covering or a, a face covering but I'll only have it come up under my chin so I'm, it's not generating the heat from my breath up into the visor um, so that's a bit of a bummer because also then the balaclava would stop the noise because this one's quite noisy it's just as noisy as the open face one is as well um, but it looks good now price wise this one when I bought it was 250 pound I went on Amazon yesterday to look for the same helmet um, and there's one company on there selling them for 222 pounds there's another company on there selling them for 344 pound um, so obviously if you did want to buy one uh, chop around and get the, the best price but yeah it's a good helmet it's nice and light the bandit is light um, obviously with all the extra on the other helmet my winter helmet um, it's a little bit heavier but this is nice and light obviously all meet the British standard for being able to be worn on the roads um, but yeah so that's it that's the three helmets that I generally do keep one thing I did forget to mention is when you buy this helmet, you get the dark visor, you also get the clear visor. Now to be able to change that is very, very easy. All you do is take the chin um, strap off or chin guard off, pull the visor down and then pull it out, put the other in, clip it in and put that back on. As simple as that. And there is also a visor that comes between the dark one and the clear one All right so it's more of a, a misty colored one probably the same as what's in my winter one so it's not so dark uh, so there is another one in between that you can buy but you don't get that with this one that's separately i bought that from a company called fat skeleton um, but again i went on their website yesterday and i don't sell this anymore um, this one with this pattern seems to um, except for amazon uh, nowhere else seems to have it. They just seem to have the matte black uh, one. Um, but yeah, that's mine. 
and that's my three helmets um, I know people's preferences are different people want different helmets different bikes different styles um, but at the end of the day a lot of it's down to safety so as long as you're safe um, but I also like to look pretty good and mean when I'm out on my bike um, so that's it thanks for watching um, and enjoy the rest of your day take care